Hey friends, today I'm back with another episode of things you probably shouldn't do, but hey, what are you going to do? Do them, I guess. I guess that's the answer. Anyway, what I got going on today is, as you can see, hopefully, it's visible here. Um, in fact, let's go up and take a look. I'm going to be shooting indoors. I'm going to be trying my multi-shot capacity here. Uh, what I have is an archery mat with a piece of uh, particle board in front of that, the white piece, and then I got that laptop that I've been shooting at recently. Um, today I'm going to be trying to aim for the copper heat sink there. Uh, it's dark outside and it's raining. So I'm going to be doing this in my garage, which is probably a terrible idea. I'm not sure what the power of this is going to be with the multi-shot. Um, I think it's probably going to be close to as powerful as it was in single shot, but really hoping this doesn't ricochet and hit something valuable in here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be pumping the gun up to probably about 450 PSI and then shooting my 5.2 gram steel ball bearings at this laptop. I'll try and take a couple quick shots at it. Uh, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I, I have three bearings, but only one of them fits well. The other two are a little bit bigger than I'd want to put in the gun, so I might have to retrieve the ball bearing if I can even find it uh, after the first shot. But um, let me get the gun filled up and the projectile loaded, and we'll try and get a couple shots into this laptop in fairly quick succession just to gauge what the uh, actual... Uh, power differences uh, now with the multi-shot capacity. So let me get that set up and the camera ready and uh, we'll take a couple shots at this thing. Alright guys, we're at about 450 PSI. Uh, let's take that back, we're at about 420 PSI. I got the steel ball bearing loaded up into the gun. And uh, actually, you know what, let me uh, let me ch let me adjust my target here real quick. All right, I'm gonna be shooting it at an angle here, and uh, I don't want to miss the target and hit the garage door. I'll probably go right through that. So um, yeah, let me take the shot here. This is 5.2 gram, 420 PSI with the multi-shot valve assembly in here. Um, so let's take this shot and see what happens, I guess. Alright, there was shot one. Sounded pretty nasty. Let's go take a look at what happened there. Okay, <laughs> there's where it hit. You could immediately see it um, <clears throat> just above the copper, it looks like here. Uh, oh yeah, it cracked the circuit board under here pretty pretty harshly. There's a bunch of material missing from inside there. It bent uh, this steel bracket here, bent the copper over. Um, let me put the camera down. It's not that far down. And put the camera down, there we go, and we'll open her up and try and take a look at this spot right here. See how far it went through. Oh, of course, it's the laptop is there. We go now, she's opened up. Um, oh, there we go. Let's uh, sorry about this camera work. This is the damage it caused. This was a previous hole here. This was the damage that it just caused, and we'll take a look at the inside here. Here's the damage. Here is the ball bearing. Uh, it's pretty dark in my garage, so hopefully you can see that. In fact, I'll, it's all aluminum keyboard on this one as well, um, or aluminum backed keyboard. As you can see, we'll get a side view here of how much it dented that up. And uh, we'll pop that ball bearing out of there. There she is. Oh, there she goes. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get another shot at this. So that was pretty decent for being 420 PSI. 
uh, pretty happy with the amount of damage that that did there. Ripped through both the circuit board, the aluminum under panel, the cladding on the keyboard, through the keyboard, and into the screen and almost out of the screen. So not bad for 420 PSI and multi-shot capability. So let's get this little turd shut up again and uh, I'll set it up and we'll take another shot. Alright guys, I'm going to load the, um, I'll try and show you this, I'm going to load the ball bearing into here again, just uh, drops right in, slide closes out around it, and we're good to fire again. So if my calculations are right, like I said it loses about 50 PSI each time, so let's see, we'd be at 370 PSI approximately on this shot. I'm going to try once again to shoot for the uh, copper heat sink there. And uh, we'll see what happens. Let's go take a look at that. It looks like it hit right about in the exact same spot, right above. Uh, it looks like I need to aim a little bit lower than I am. Let's see if the ball bearing is in there. And. Uh, Tilt this down for you guys. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. We'll dig her open again and oh yeah, I can see the bearing in it already. And uh, here's the bearing. Almost in the exact. That's pretty sharp there. I'll use my knife to get it out. Almost in the oh, now it now it got lost. It's almost in the exact same spot though <clears throat> as where I hit last time. Oh, fell out. It is on the floor here. All right. So, going to aim lower this time. All right, loading up the bearing again. All loaded up. And let's take another shot, aim a little bit lower this time and try and get that heat sink. Should be at about 320 PSI this time. All right, hopefully third time's a charm. It usually is for me, so let's take a look. Nope, this time it, I think, uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's take a look here. Uh, I think, I think it hit, uh, I don't know anymore. I don't know if this was the second shot, or if it ricocheted, or something happened here, but this fan housing, which is aluminum, is all wonky now. The copper is cracked where the fan shroud is riveted on. Uh, there's quite a bit of damage in here. Um... Let me take it apart and I'll see if I can find the bearing and figure out where this thing for sure hit. Alright guys, well I found where the bearing went to. Um, hopefully, like I said, sorry about the poor lighting in this video. Um, hopefully you can see this. There is a massive hole all the way through this laptop. Wires dangling out. Um, just crap everywhere on this thing. Um, so hit in almost the same spot all three times. Well anyway, I pulled the laptop away and on my particle board behind here, this is probably a half inch thick, there was a new hole and there is some wood inside the archery mat here, so I'm guessing that the ball bearing is somewhere inside of there maybe. Um, let me dig around in there and try and find it. All right, well the ball bearing is MIA. Uh, I checked inside the mat and it must be further in the mat than I can reach. Um, so for the next shots I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be using uh, some valve stem covers, plastic valve stem covers. Uh, and they don't fit the barrel very well, so I just put some uh, paper towel wadding in them. Uh, I'm 
Build the gun back up to 450 PSI this time. I'm going to be shooting at a piece of, yeah, it's a little over 8th inch plywood. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can. Uh, take multiple shots here and as fast as I can. And then once I'm done, I got four of them. Once I'm done shooting all four, then we'll go in and take a look at the end result. So, without further ado, here we go. Got the first one loaded up. Let's take some shots here. Pretty nasty so far. There's one. Put too much paper towel in some of these, it looks like, or really. It up, but hey, what are you gonna do once again? That's why it's taken so long to reload this crap, but three, and here's the last one. This one's not too much paper towel, so it should be a fairly quick load here. There we go, she's in, and let's take the shot. And there you have it. Well, let's go take a look at what it did here. So as we saw, you can see it from all the way back there, we got the four holes. One real low, I didn't really try and aim anywhere in particular. One low, here's another one. And uh, all of them made it through, no problem. There is the uh, exit wounds, I guess you'd call them. Pretty severe for just some really light valve stem covers. And already I see one cover here, and there's another one back here. So we got two of them, and they made it out pretty well. This one's fine, this one's a little bit oblong now. Uh, doesn't look like any of them, uh, that's a pretty deep hole, but I don't know what that's from. Doesn't look like any of them embedded in the mat. Looks like they lost most of their energy going through the board here. We'll take one more better look at the uh, exit holes of the projectiles. So, sorry about the kind of crappy video. I'll have to get some more ball bearings. Maybe I'll make some more projectiles here. Um, but that's going to be it for now. But it just kind of shows that, you know, multi-shot on this gun with the valve setup I have is doable and it uh, remains pretty effective. So I am working on my newest valve and actually I came up with a couple ideas for um, hopefully, I'll have to test this out as well actually, uh, I think I have some ideas for a variable um, what's the word I'm looking for? a variable output so that I can make the shot either more powerful or less powerful. Um, I'll go over the designs of that valve maybe once I start working on it a little more. I have some technical drawings that I drew up and hopefully I can start machining it on the lathe here soon. Uh, I did get the parts back for the lathe and I am able to start working on that again. So looking forward to that. Anyway, enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, stay tuned. I should have some more stuff out here for you guys shortly. Have a good one.